Hi, my name is Manoli Paneris and today I'm going to be showing you my 3ds Max 2 Substance Painter workflow. So, to begin with, I have two models here, one containing multiple geometries, which is how I made this model, and the other one, which is one geometry, where I simply attached all the separate elements and collapsed it into one edit poly. So, to begin with, what you're going to do is make sure that you have the scanline renderer selected, and then you want to open up your material editor. You want to create a multi sub object material, and in each of the ID slots, you want to put in a standard legacy shader with a flat color. Once you've done that, you want to apply that to your model. Then you want to go to rendering, bait texture. Then with the model selected, you want to go to diffuse, add maps to selected output and then click bake. Once that is baked, you want to go back into the material editor, create a new standard legacy shader, doesn't matter what color, apply that to the bed, select the bed, export, export selected, and you want to go to your location. You want to call this mesh. Then using the Autodesk Media and Entertainment preset, export it as an FBX. Now inside Substance Painter, Control N, select whatever document resolution you like. Then let's open our mesh. Make sure not to have selected auto unwrap, click OK. Right, then you want to press Control Shift B, bake at whatever resolution you like. Do not bake the ID map and click Bake Selected Texture. Okay, now what we want to do is go down here, add resource. Select our diffuse, define it as a texture and import to project, import. Now we want to go to texture set settings, go down here, find our texture and drop it onto the ID map section. Now if we have a look here, you can clearly see that we have different colors for each of our sub objects and then simply if we want to use it as if they're different texture sets you just go folder add mask with color selection select whichever one so that's going to be our sheet and then you can simply drag and drop into the folder and it will only apply to that texture set that material ID all right thank you very much for watching and I hope you enjoyed